Okay, hi guys, Saskia here. So one of the ways I keep track of the surrender incoming surrender requests is, this is easy for me, it comes in as an email. So I have a huge folder that I go through and if they are, I notice that they're surrenders from our location, then they get marked red and get an invitation to surrender. So right now we're in the horrible position where we can only take in two a week of our returned guinea pigs. We've never been in that situation ever. So it's so, so hard. Now, without, I have to be careful. I don't want the people's information to become, uh, you know, visible. But, you know, just to give you an idea, it's a female bonnet pair. Less than a year, people are moving and they cannot take them. So, you know, that happens a lot. And not all surrenders are like bad people. I just want to make sure that you guys understand that, okay? Not all surrenders are because people just don't care. Now, let's see. Let's find another one. Okay. This one. Okay. This one I'm treating as a more urgent surrender. This is a mixed group of females and females living together. The female had babies and a total of, and now we have a total of seven and they can't afford as many. And they adopted one guinea pig at Peco in Los Angeles. And they live in a hotel right now till they try and get on their feet. And of course they don't have enough space. They adopted one guinea pig and now they have seven. And I don't know if they're still all living together, which it kind of would indicate over here on the top. So I emailed her and asked her a few more pertinent questions so I can figure out what the situation is. There's no video or photo attached. Sometimes there are. And so, you know, let's go and look at some of the other ones. I'm going to just keep it here so I look, so I, I, I am not going to. Okay. Uh, reason. Husband has breathing issues with them in the house, and we are moving country. Okay. Well, those are two very valid reasons as well, you know? Now this time marked yellow because there is something going on with this one because it is a mixed group of animals. There's a bunch of them, but they are all separated by sex. Now two are from, it's called LA Cavey Cottage, I would imagine. And I looked it up and it's actually a guinea pig breeder. I think a breeder of long haired guinea pigs. So I replied to this girl that we have a waiting list for more than a year and to please contact the breeder if they will take them back. I looked them up on Facebook. Uh, a good breeder will do that. Um, all right, let's look at this other one. Unable to care for them. And we actually have a photo here. Let's take a look at the picture. You know, they don't look, live that bad. Yeah, they, they're living okay. But photos can also be deceiving. Situations may have changed. Okay, so let's look at the other one. Um, unable to care for, they deserve, I can no longer feed them. And there's a picture. Of, oh, it's the same one. Oopsie, it's in here twice. That happens sometimes. So, wait, oh, go back. So, I need to get rid of that one. Um, let me check this one out. This gentleman got three guinea pigs. They're overwhelmed. They don't get the attention they deserve. My, high, my daughter is in high school. She was caring for them, but she has anxiety. And with the pandemic makes it worse. And the thought of cleaning, feeding and watering when she worries all the time that they're gonna die. So again, you know, I would say this is a very valid. I mean, listen, there is no unvalid non-valid surrender you know it's uh it's the ones that we go to kids got lost interest and stuff and we do get those 
and that's just silly in the part you know the parents should not have gotten a guinea pig in the first place um, so, you know, I can find you one of those. This is actually Surrender, a return. Um, so, this one is my partner and I moving across the country to New York. Uh, you know, they have four guinea pigs. So, it's kind of hard to, um, to, to take them. It's, it's really hard. So, let me go ahead and find some more ones for you to look at. Okay, so this girl says I can no longer keep up with so many guinea pigs. I can't keep up with buying so much veggies and my mom are, is quite mad that I am even spending so much on their veggies. So this seems to be a minor in charge of caring for the guinea pigs and the parents are not supportive. This is not a good situation, okay? This is not good. The parents... Uh, the parents always think that they can just leave all that responsibility to their kids even as minors it's not you know even when they're like older 14 15 they're you know it's gonna change what they're interested in and and and, and they might not be interested in guinea pigs anymore at that point you know it's it's just really tough kids and guinea pigs it's really 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 hard now, this couple has a son who has severe allergies. I mean, people do end up in urgent care because of asthma attacks and they can't breathe. So, you know, those are very, very valid. But unfortunately, they were purchased from PetSmart. And that's the other thing, actually, I didn't point out, that most of these guinea pigs are all coming from PetSmart or PetGo. Um, let's have a look at this one. This one actually came from a mom and pop store in Ojai. Our free time has changed a lot with aging parents and it's making it difficult to provide for the guinea pigs. Much attention outside of fulfilling their basic needs. And this is the photo of how they live. All right, so let's go and find you another one to look at. And you know, we're just in July still. This is just, this is the 5th of July we're down to, okay? All these that I've just pointed out. Now this is a uh, return, return, return. This is a one that we cannot put down, but I can't take care of them financially. I don't want to get them to the animal shelter rescue because they will put them down after four days, if not adopted, which is not quite correct. They usually will put them down when they're, when they're sick. However, yes, because they're so full, they have been putting down guinea pigs before it was time. And look at where she got them, pet smart. Uh, this one. Oh, she got them from the neighbor. She rescued them because the neighbor was moving out and they were going to be left in the trash. Wow. I took them in without experience or over the years. I've learned so much. I learned a lot from your YouTube channel, actually. I want them to go into an educated family or, or even you guys, but time's running out and I don't like to take them to a shelter. So yeah, this is very, very, very sad because the shelter, unless she can find a private home for these guys, the shelter's probably gonna be her only chance right now. Okay, let's see their photo. She's doing a good job. It's a shame, such a shame she can't keep them. All right, so let's get back to finding you another, another one. Um, reason, circumstances change. Can no longer keep them, everything is expensive now. I'm barely getting by between the guinea pigs and my grandma who is now in hospice. I can't give them the attention I used to give them and I feel bad you know these are heartbreaking heartbreaking please because this is not everybody thinks 
that everybody who is surrendering an animal is a bad person. But you know what? I'm looking at this every day. This is heartbreaking. She lives on a fixed income. She barely gets by. Her, her, her situation may have changed from when she did get the guinea pigs. Her grandma is on hospice. Oh my goodness. And you know, we can't help her. And that is the most heartbreaking thing for me, going through all these. And this is still in Ju July. We're still July. Okay, so let me see these guinea pigs. They were given the guinea pig and they have a dog. And my daughter can barely take care of Lily, let alone a guinea pig. She says she'll start and does it for a few days and just feeds him, but never wants to clean his cage. Now, um, this is very common with parents who, who are getting guinea pigs to teach their children how responsibility and it doesn't work parents it doesn't work it honestly doesn't because the kids are going to lose interest there's a very few special kids that don't but they are going to lose interest they're going to get older or if they're too young i mean i always say like 14 13 is a, is a good age 12 14 you know, they might get that sense of responsibility, but they have to be extraordinary kids because most kids are just not going to. They're not interested. The novelty wears off, and that's the end of that. All right, let's go. Now we're, no, we're still in July. Goodness. This one came from PetSmart. Too many allergies. Okay. This one... given to a friend of limited space and there's no animals allowed. Let's take a picture, a look at the photo. It seems to live nice in a CNC cage. Okay, let's go through. That's smart. They get a respiratory issue a year ago. Moving and no space is the reason. This one, I let a little sister decided to get guinea pigs. She got them from a family friend. One is hairless, seemed normal and healthy, the other seems to have an injury or something. I don't know exactly what she has. All I can tell is that she cannot walk correctly. Seems to have a hard time moving and standing still. Oh boy. The reason they cannot keep them, they moved cities and it's harder to watch over them because I commute. So this looks like to be an older brother who is keeping an eye on things but it's not there to really keep an eye on things. So it's very concerned, wants to uh, surrender and is very concerned for that particular guinea pig. All right, let's go back to here. Um, okay, this is a mixed group of females, but apparently they are separated. A friend, they just keep mating, and I ended up with 25 of them. I had an apartment fire, and I can't keep them anymore. Oy, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so, oh, oh. Okay, this has me a little shocked. I, I did not watch this photo when I glanced through the surrender forms. This is such a huge dilemma for me, but something has got to give here in this situation, and this lady desperately needs help. So,
I think I'm gonna need to Desiree and see what we can do here. Which, I, honestly, we can't. And that's the heartbreaking part. So what I wanted to show you, the, the reality of it, is that we have situations like this which we normally wouldn't even hesitate to jump in. But we don't have the adoptions to offset the incoming. And at that point, we, we only have so many resources and so many cages. Oh my goodness, how heartbreaking. Okay, I'm gonna mark this one urgent. I'll deal with it in a little bit. Okay, this one. Uh, pet go or our pet smart. I have to move out, and I'm not allowed to have pets in my apartment. That's probably one of the also the one of the more bigger reasons that people. Let me see the photo that people surrender their guinea pigs is because they move and they cannot have uh, pets in their place or they are not allowed to have pets in the place in the first in the first place. Now, do we adopt out to those people? Do we ask, hey, or do you have permission from your landlord to have pets? I don't ask because I think it's ridiculous that they, 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 they can have <laughs> guinea pigs. I mean, it's a guinea pig, come on. So, that is up to them to figure out. This one came from uh, a Peco in Maine, I guess. Must have been a very much loved guinea pig and some allergies, yeah. And there's a Marine who gets reposted, I suppose. And we're still in July, guys. This is still July and it's only July 10th. It's just unbelievable. Okay, now we're going into June. This is the PetSmart in your Belinda. I'd like to find a new home of surrender. My two male guinea pigs, they're three years old. We had to move them from our daughter's room into the living room and discovered that they are causing asthma attacks in family members. Yep, that can happen. Thank goodness I am not allergic to guinea pigs. Okay, and here is another lovely one where she rescued a female from a pet store and that one gave birth. This is a mom and pop store, I imagine. The baby has something wrong with his eye and he's wheezing, so that's also not very good. But again, we are so, and it's hard to explain. I mean, we're busy, we are busy. We have five people right now. We, that we had to hire for summer to just take care of our existing pigs, the boarding pigs, because there's like, you know, part of the money that we, we, we make to run the place and help these guinea pigs comes from boarding. Um, but the stress, it, the staff is over overwhelmed. I was just in, in, in the barn and there is just no more space for one more cage. Pet smart. Daughter has lost interest in playing with him because she's allergic to hay. And let's see what cage and how they're living. Oh, he's so skinny. Hi, baby. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's get back to. Sorry, I'm just holding the camera with one hand. This is a solo video adventure. <laughs> um, okay. Let's look at this one. They were a gift. Roommates has moved out. I cannot keep them since I'm moving in back with my parents. Also very sad because these guys look well cared for in a nice cage. Okay, come on. There we go. Thank you. Okay, back here. Uh, one female is pregnant. Uh, they did not come from here. We have too many to become unmanageable and we are also moving. A little collage that she made of her piggy. Um, 
Petco, female Petco. I had a female hamster I'll be moving soon. Breaks my heart, I can't keep her. She's loving and needs a good home. Okay, that, that, that's not a guinea pig. That's a hamster. No guinea pig, a little over a year. Came from Petco. Oh, sorry, I changed my hand. Let's see, this photo. Oh, hi buddy. Let's move on. Remember, uh, we're just getting started on June. Adopted Kiki Mbeko. Oh, found out she was pregnant. They didn't tell us this Petco. Nice. Yep, isn't that nice? That keeps happening too. And then there's this set, you know, guinea pig that she rescued from a hoarding situation and not being pregnant and gave birth to one pup who's male. And I guess she's trying to find a home for the for the male. For the male baby. Um, this one is a year old. A small pet store reason, schooling and my job, I can't keep up. Yeah, you know, listen, it's endless, okay? This is my life. I, I watch this and every single day we have surrender requests every day and seriously this is nothing look at this look at this this just goes on and on i have this is still 20. i think there's a piece missing in between but just just look at like here let's start with uh, july or june june this is all june 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 this is all June until here. I don't even know how many that is. Let's count them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. I'm not even, I'm not even in the middle. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 10, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 110, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 120, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 125, 125 guys just in june alone please don't buy your guinea pigs from the pet store because they all end up on my list and we can help you or your guinea pig so please come and adopt find a rescue near you or your local shelter and see if they have guinea pigs right now they all are so full full of guinea pigs okay i just wanted to share this with you to show you i'm always talking about like man we have a really really big problem but that you know unless you see it nobody really kind of believes it it's just words so i wanted to show you this that this is real this is a real crisis anyway i hope you guys get it and we do our best we work so so hard the staff is so tired at the end of the day, having put in more time, 
you know, rushing through lunches because there's so much to do. It's just so sad, so sad. You know, and then there's May, gonna start counting May. Oh my goodness. I think we did enough by counting June. Thank you for watching. Goodness, this is 25 minutes of going through our surrender requests.